Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I have Dan here with me today and he is back for another round of Boyfriend Guesses the Price Of. This video was super popular, well, it was popular with most of you last time. There are a few people who were deeply offended by it, but we're just gonna ignore those people. Um, so this time we're expanding the category out into other luxury goods as well. So I have a few bags here, um, a few pairs of shoes, uh, an SLG or two, and then also a couple of items which I don't own, but I think it'd be funny to try and get Dan to guess the price of. So throwing a bit of a twist in there. <laughs> I haven't told him about this. Fun. <laughs> so was, is there anything that you'd like to say? No, I'm gonna get all of this wrong, so let's You did really well last time though. Yeah, but then you tell me how much you spent on shoes and it's true, I spent on shoes. Alright, well let's see how he gets on. So first up, what would you you have a choice of things you can go for? <laughs> so these four things, yeah. There are more than that, but yeah, to begin with. Fine, let's just go with the bag. Let's go with the bag. Okay, so this is the Chloe Drew. This is in the mini size. It's leather with a gold chain, obviously. Like gold plated? No. Just brass or something like that? Yeah, just generic metal. Proper leather. Proper leather. <laughs> Supposed to fake leather? You've got other bags that aren't leather, right? Uh, Your Neverfull looks like it's meant to be leather. Right, but canvas, not, yeah. yeah. I feel like some poor quality stuff going on. <gasps> Why is it poor quality? So, look where the screws are and look at the circle around it. I feel like the screws should be central, centre to the circle on, on the edge. Well, this I will be writing to, to Chloe immediately. It's going to affect my valuation. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't good. Um, I don't feel Chloe's like a mega brand. Is Chloe like part of something else? Or is Chloe Chloe? Uh, I think Chloe's owned by a big luxury kind of conglomerate. Yeah, so they sit alongside Gucci and those kind of brands. They're 700. Oh, close. 1,050 pounds. Is that close? 50% off? So it's not bad, like it's... I'd be pretty annoyed if someone quoted me 700 quid and it came in at 10.50. I know, I thought that was not a bad price. I mean, I'd love it if it was 700, it's not, but you know. Okay. Let's do a shoe now. Okay. These are Valentino rock studs. These are going to annoy me more than anything. Why? So I think these go with the medieval bag that I mentioned before. The Chanel boy bag? Well, I mean, these look like if you kick someone, they'd hurt, right? I imagine it would hurt. Okay, so... So for a frame of reference, these are the most expensive shoes I own and they're particularly expensive, as in when I bought those I'd never spent that much on a pair of shoes. Okay, can I, well, have, can I have one more piece of information? The other day you said to me you spent quite a lot of money on shoes this month. <laughs> yes. How many pairs of shoes was that? Um, four. Okay, so if average was that? No, it was five, but I didn't want it. One pair of shoes are particularly cheap, so I didn't want that. Okay, to... so... God, I'm gonna hate this, but it's gonna be 800 pounds. Oh, no, they're not that bad. 620. Okay, because you said you spent like two grand on shoes, and yeah. if that's four pairs, if the average was 500, and these are your most expensive. Yeah, that's but I mean, there. shoes have just gone that way in general. So the, all design shoes used to be like 300. As someone who now. buys shoes, shoes haven't gone that way. <laughs> they yeah. have, like designer well, shoes. <laughs> yeah, fine. Shoes haven't gone that way. Okay, my shoes have gone that way. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's not bad, though. Chanel card holder next. <sighs> this is in lambskin, um, but it doesn't really matter. Here's one in caviar, so the leather doesn't really matter too much. It's the actual so size. So the same price-ish. Around about, yeah. So literally, hold cards, coins. Exactly. Thing is size that size doesn't matter on these things that much, does it? Agreed. Like you're paying for that. That's yes. what you're paying for, right? 100 percent Um oh. take it. Sorry, no, it's fine. So I'm considering how much you spent on my wallet, and I'm thinking that they are similar kind of things. Yes, yeah, so people who watched our Christmas gift guide, uh, I bought him a Hugo Boss wallet for Christmas. But I don't remember how much that was. 160, something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Which makes me want to say the same, albeit my wallet is far more functional than that. It holds more. It I would say Hugo stuff. Boss and Chanel are different in different categories. Yes, Chanel will rip people off more. <laughs> well. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, two thirty. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to give you that because I have two sixty, but the prices also fluctuate hugely, and I think I bought this one for like two twenty. So. Okay. That's yeah. bang on. That's all right. That's, That's so 240 average, yeah. yeah. Cool. Next up is the Givenchy Antigona, which Dan is holding right now. I'm going to show the bag to the camera. Okay. Uh, QVC. <laughs> um, at least we can fit some things in this, so yes. I'm going to be less offended by it. And you can either guess the price of what I paid for it, because I got it pre-loved, or you can guess the floor retail price. Can we just move that yes. so I can put it on the table? Uh, sorry, what, what you paid originally or pre-loved? So yeah. I'm guessing. Uh, so I bought it pre-loved, or you can so you can guess that price, or oh, you can right. guess the full retail price. Big difference. For me, yes. I got a bargain though. I think. Can you tell me what this brand is in line with? So I'm guessing it's not Chanel. No, I would say a lot of the kind of luxury brands, but basically the only brands who are in that crazy price category are really Chanel, a few of the LV lines and then um, Hermes as well. So Gucci, Chloe, Givenchy, they all tend to be around the same. So this is a step range. down then? Okay. Um, I wouldn't really call it a step down, it's just different. But you'd call Chanel a step up? Well, again, it's different though. It's a different kind of bag. Um, okay, you bought it pre-love, right? So was there any like damage or issues or anything like that? No. So you just, it's pre-loved but it's new kind of thing? I mean, I thought it was in great condition, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, let me make this clear. Neverfull is better. However... Dan's favourite bag is the Neverfull. It fits a lot of stuff in. It does what a bag's meant to do. Um, 1100. Well, that's kind of in between what I... So I paid 800 or thereabouts for it. Yeah. They retail for 1465 Boom. I mean, boom, you didn't really get either, to be fair. Wait, you bought it for how much? 800. What did it cost me? 1,465. What do you get if you average those two? Yeah, but that doesn't, you didn't get either. 1,132. Just... That's pretty close. Yeah, but you didn't get either. But I didn't, I was just going for like, yeah. Okay, that's fine, okay, I fine. If I'll I give said you 1,100 new or 1,100 pre-owned, I'd be like, okay, oh, I'm wrong, okay, but fair I just enough. went. Fair enough, okay, that's fine. Next up, Christian Louboutin Pigalle Folies. Okay. The so do you know what Louboutins are? They're like a thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Also the faffy the name, the more expensive. Generally speaking, I think that's true. What were the other ones? 620. And they're your most expensive shoes? Yes. So, below that. It's a good start. For my mental health. <laughs> I do like the red underneath. 530. 455. The bargain. I should get more of them. I think we need to get you a new dictionary. I don't have the next few items with me, so I'm just going to be inserting pictures and I'm going to be sharing pictures on my laptop for Dan. So this is a Fendi Peekaboo. This is in the mini size. Looking at the side, are they all like that? Because they look like they're quite shallow on the front, but then when you see the profile... No, I think they're all like 3D. So they're all like pyramids rather than flat eyes. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, so this is velvet, and that's what it looks like being worn, so it's quite a small size. Blue velvet. So okay. what brand? As, this is Fendi, so Fendi is designed by the same designer that designs for Chanel, so it's Karl Lagerfeld. He designs for both Chanel and Fendi, and you actually guess the price. It was the pink one. You'd guess the price of that before. How much was that? <laughs> I can tell you, it won't help you, but I can tell you if you want. Tell me. What so information is good? I think I paid 1800 for it, but I think Which they one was that? The pink one. Um, and I think it retails for like 2,200 thereabouts. And then you said that was blue. Or 2,500. You said that was felt? No, no. This is velvet. Velvet. So we're, so we're assuming that this is cheaper than Chanel, but maybe more expensive than Louis Vuitton, from what you've said. It's definitely more expensive than Fun. Okay. Um, I'd also maybe keep in mind that I picked this for a reason. I didn't pick kind of a generic, easy to get. Oh, so it's going to be super overpriced. Well... Okay. Uh, 2,100. So this comes in at a bargain, 3,710 pounds. <laughs> and it's a mini size, but I have no idea why they price it like that. I just... I couldn't even fathom spending that on such a small... But something like that will be like cool for a season, right? And then no one cares. I mean, I'm not even sure it's cool now, but I mean, yes. Technically. Are they actually like googly eyes? Do they like move around when you... 
They're not, no, I think it's supposed to be pom-poms. What? Pom-poms. Oh, uh, okay. Do you actually miss me? <laughs> Funnily enough, the next thing that I'm gonna show you Why did she kill a Furby? <laughs> so that's the um, bag charm, and that's what it looks like on the bag. That looks like a Furby had sex with a gremlin, <laughs> got depressed, turned into a punk, dyed all their hair, and then hung <laughs> themselves. That is actually what that looks like. <laughs> so these are called Fendi Monsters. It's by the same brand that you just Okay, saw. so they like ripping people off. We can establish that. Um, <laughs> it's real it fur as well. It serves no purpose. Um, <laughs> wait, it's real fur? It's real fur. What fur? I don't know, does that matter? I'm guessing some fur's more expensive than others. Do you know the different prices no, of different furs? if you were like, there's only three of these left in the world and you can only find them at the top of I Mount Everest, think... I imagine it was going to be quite expensive. I imagine it's going to be a fox fur or something, I don't know, but... I like foxes. Um, I like foxes too. These are also, not this particular one, but this uh, line of bag charms are massively popular. As in Fendi has done very, very well with them. 350. No. 690 pounds. I mean, why? I, I don't know why anyone would buy that particular one. Some of them look quite cool, but they are very, even the cheaper ones are still like 450. They're very expensive. People spend less on cars than that. Yeah, I think that's probably true. No, ah, it is true. I... It's not probably true, it is true. Fendi monster charms, they're a thing, I don't know. Okay then. So that's it for this video guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I think Dan did pretty well. He didn't get all the right, but I think I gave him some hard ones. So all things considered, there was no way you were going to get the two Fendi ones. I do realise that. Nobody should get the two Fendi no. ones. And I mean no one should get the two Fendi ones. They're ridiculous. Dan's judgment on Fendi, not good. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And please leave nice comments for Dan because you know he reads them all <laughs> obsessively. <laughs> Dan loves the comments on the videos where he's in, so please make sure to say hi to Dan, he will be reading. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next one. Say bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Such a little grass. <laughs> hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see... What? It's the hi, guys thing. What's wrong with hi, guys? It's just stereotypical, ain't it? No, you have to have some kind of expression. Confused. I have an expression. Fuck you? Yeah. I got Amy. <laughs>